Welcome to my SU News Channel. Left Wing Journal's attack reporter Matt Taibai for exposing Musk's Twitter files. Mainstream news reporters in lockstep with Democratic strategists rushed to social media to smear journalist Matt Taibai as a sad fraud as he released his bombshell report on political censorship at Twitter. Matt Taibai, what sad, disgraceful downfall, Daily Beast columnist and New York Times contributor Wajahat Ali posted. Selling your soul for the richest white nationalist on earth. On Friday, the billionaire Elon Musk, who vowed to give the social media giant a free speech overhaul when he bought it last month, released to tie by a shocking collection of inside correspondence proving that Democrat insiders leaned on Twitter's censors to suppress the Post's coverage of Hunter Biden's laptop ahead of the 2020 presidential election. While Ali was hitting send, Dem pollster Matt McDermott tweeted a nearly identical put-down. Matt Taibai always was, and still remains, a fraud, McDermott wrote. Doing PR for the richest person in the world should come as no surprise. The Democrats' words appeared to have been cut and pasted from a tweet NBC's Ben Collins had posted moments before. Imagine throwing it all away to do PR work for the richest person in the world, Collins wrote. Humiliating S. T. Conservatives on Twitter pummeled Collins, who has made a specialty of attacking Republicans. You have so much bitterness and contempt against other people, wrote independent journalist Andy No. I hope you find healing in your life. Please keep tweeting, GOP Rapid Response staffer Jake Schneider told Collins. Your meltdown is hilarious. Dozens of journalists, including MSNBC's Chris Hayes, NBC's Brandy Zadrozny, and the New Republic's Jacob Silverman and Democrat partisans piled on, drawing the scorn of investigative reporter Glenn Greenwald. The whole sleazy, in-group liberal gang from NBC, Daily Beast, etc., all the censorship advocates who think censorship advocacy is somehow compatible with journalism are furious that the, the acts of their Dem Party allies in getting the Biden story censored are being exposed, Greenwald posted. Meanwhile, Yoel Roth, Twitter's former head of trust and safety who left the company when Musk completed his takeover, accused the site's new owner of endangering the censors. Publicly posting the names and identities of frontline employees involved in content moderation puts them in harm's way and is a fundamentally unacceptable thing to do, Roth posted Friday on Mastodon, the Twitter-like site where many Musk opponents have decamped. Roth admitted Wednesday that the social media giant has interfered in elections. Source, nypost.com Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.